Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Mike Makes It. What we're looking at here is a DRO, Digital Readout uh, Linear Scale. Uh, simply put, you move this along this bracket, and it tells you how far this readout's moved. Now, I bought this primarily to put on my pillar drill in the garage. So as you drill in a hole, you know how far you've actually proceeded with the drill. You know how deep you've drilled. Uh, it does have a rudimentary scale on there at the moment, uh, but it is very manual. Uh, I want to leave that on there because it's also got a manual depth stop. So we need to fit this in, a, in and around that. Now I have seen people fit these, digital vernier, which is a good idea. Uh, many people have done that with, with success. Now I want to do a little bit different, um, mainly because if you fit this one way or the other, that display is going to be read sideways. As a drill plunges this way, this would open, but nevertheless, it's cocked round 90 degrees. With this, I can put this bang in my vision, and I can see exactly what we're doing, and I'm gonna work out sideways reading, so that should be quite good. I would have liked an LED display, but I couldn't get hold of one of them, so this'll do, but like I say, 24 pound delivered, can't grumble really. On the actual display itself, sorry, forgive me, on the bracket itself, it will go to 150 mil. Don't need that, so I'm gonna chop some of that off. Uh, the readhead itself will be, remain exactly like it is. So all I gotta do is figure out how to fit it to the pillar drill. And that's what we'll do now. We'll head down and uh, see what I can work out. Well, this is the old drill press I'm working with. This is the scale I was talking about, very, very basic. It's got metric and imperial on it, which is fine. It gives you an idea of how far you've plunged the drill into the workpiece. And it has two nuts on the top, which can be adjusted to prevent you plunging this too far into the work, which I have used. Um, and I don't want to get rid of this, but I still want to have a more accurate way of measuring how far I've drilled into the work, hence the DRO. Now that's what I'm faced with. I've got to fit this to the drill somehow. Now having a quick look at it, I'm figuring the easiest way is to fix the reed head to the drill so the reed head doesn't move at all. It's a little bit black, hopefully you can see that, but yeah, the reed head will fit to the drill press and the scale is going to be fixed to the moving part. So as I plunge into the work, the scale will move with it. So effectively, we're doing that. The readhead will be in one place, if that won't move. But uh, there's two ways of thinking now. I can either fit the read uh, the scale to the top of this big bolt, or to this here, where the chuck is mounted. So I'm gonna have a little think and uh, see which is the easiest but best way of uh, attaching both the readhead and the scale. And once I have, and I've got some brackets made up, I'll come back and show you what I've uh, come up with.
Okay, it's coming together. You saw me make the bracket. We've screwed onto the framework here. Bracket runs around to the back and mounts on to the scale. You can see the scale moves down, which is what we're looking for in the read edge. That's all good. Um, I'll show you in a little bit more detail, but in here, I've got a single bolt running from the bracket to this bracket, but I've isolated the two in some respects with two O-rings. So I've got a little bit of uh, play if need be, but I don't think that'll, let's see if we can get in the light, there you go. Um, the, 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 there's a little bit of a buffer, that's what I'm trying to say, between the two mechanisms. So there's a little bit of give, but I think the scale here runs fairly parallel with a drill. So uh, that's all good, it, it, the scale's not pulled left or right. Um, as I pull a drill down. So the next job is to chop this off. Um, hopefully I'm not going to encounter any problems. Probably going to do it with a little hacksaw. So I'll mark where I've got to cut it, so I'll take it over to the vise and uh, chop it off. Uh, I could leave it, but it's going to get in the way of the lid when I open, open this to change the speeds. Um, should be clear at that point. Uh, if the lid does get open, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'll cut it to the, the minimum I need uh, to give me the full 80 mil drop of the drill. So as I say, I'll go over the bench, get the hacksaw right, and we'll chop the top off. Take a closer look at the bracket there. It's a single bolt that mounts the two together, but between the two brackets, there's a couple of O-rings. That just gives you a little bit of play, a little bit of uh, lateral movement if need be, because you've got a slotted hole there as well. So um, I'll just color that white piece with a bit of uh, black marker pen, just to cover it up, to hide it if you like. Um, I've cut the scale, so we can put all that back together. So we're nearly done. So we go back over to the drill and we'll take a look. Well, that's it all put back together. Got a little bit of cable management to do. As you can see, they give you a good length of cable, so I just need to tie wrap that up out of the way. You've seen this assembly with a reed head, scales on the side there. As I plunge the chuck down, you can see the, um, the scale, as I call it, moves inside the reed head, which is just what I want. The display is in easy reach of uh, my eyes, so to speak, so I can see what's going on, which is ideal. It's battery operated. Uh, I just got to remember to turn it off when I finish with it because it's not auto off. And the way I intend to use it, I would fit a drill into the chuck, bring the drill onto the workpiece, zero the DRO, then, you know, away you go you want a five mil depth you wait until you got five mil on the display there so nice and simple uh further upgrades for the dro <clears throat> maybe side lit led and um, perhaps powered from the drill itself so i've got um, a taco here that's powered off a 24 volt supply so i could hook that in but is it worth it not sure i'll see how i get on with it there is one more upgrade for the pillar drill on the way. Um, keep a look on the video channel and you'll, uh, you'll see that as, as and when I get the parts from Banggood. Anyhow, I'm certainly going to find this useful. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you did, um, please, thumbs up would be great. Thanks for watching.